acting is a profession, uh, script writing is a profession, editing is a service. It's not that they don't have a budget. They can't see your value. We had such a wonderful time talking to our guest that we didn't even notice how quickly the time flew by. So here is the part two of our conversation with our very own digital dada, Mr. Neil Sarvelkar. Before we get into the episodic content, we would like to invite you to join our community of the backstage artists. These backstage artists are the true inspiration behind our podcast. They have pushed us to dig deeper, laugh louder and create endless magic. Please like, share and subscribe our YouTube channel Pixels Unlimited to be part of this exciting journey. And follow, leave us a comment or even compliment on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram etc. Links are in description below. Roll camera! Rolling. Shuru se shuru karta hai. Welcome to our multilingual audiovisual podcast, The Backstage Artist. I have a lot of data management, data management, and I have a basic understanding. So, what do you think about it? And what do you think about it? For data management, this applies to all kinds of filmmakers, and especially to small filmmakers. What do you think about it? This applies to all kinds of filmmakers, and especially to small filmmakers. So, first of all, the understanding that what you are doing is an act of great responsibility. So, you have to be really focused. You have to get good sleep, have a good diet, diet, be fit, because you you will make <laughs> you, you make mistakes if you are if you are you are sleep deprived. You make mistakes if you are depressed or unhealthy oh or God, anything. Wow. So, I mean, this is is an, it's as important as as any other of you. Uh, use common sense. Okay, which, which is, is very, very uncommon. uncommon. And one of the things I find very strange with with a lot of small filmmakers is don't be afraid to buy software. Mm. Almost everybody who looks at a, a solution, there is a solution to everything on the on the app store or on or internet or wherever. They look at fifteen dollars, I look for a crack. Twenty five dollars, I look for a crack. It is a useless method. Okay, everything that I use today is purchased because that's that is somebody somewhere is spending a lot of time developing software. That, that one that's one thing. Buy the software you need. If you buy the software you will need, you will solve a lot of problems. If you look for cracks and free software, you will solve no problems. There is no capable software that is free. Okay, so arm yourself with the right tools. Then do some basic study of how it's done, and do it in a repeatable way. Keep records. Yeah, it's very important, important to keep records, and I think that solves most of the problems. But the primary thing is don't be afraid to buy software. I think if people buy bought software. They would solve a lot of problems, especially small software like Hedge for copying data. I use Hedge. They've become such good friends now. When I write to them, they immediately send a reply. I don't need to crack it. I have twelve licenses. Okay, so so they just reply. Shutter encoder, the guy replies to me. The guy who write Handbrake, VLC, everybody is writes replies to me. And it's because I bought it. That's the power of money. I think people should use that. So in workflow, backing up the data at least two places. Preferably three places. And here, our two three things are in Lakshya Dalal. I am I am shoot करो तो ते एकदम वादर आलो Malta मधे. And तेरे तो ऐसा होता कि जब I am इस city वादर ओली की सगाई नहीं पड़ो निकले तो कहीं हाथा गया है तो नहीं. मुझे प्लेन में संकट था. Don't carry your luggage. Just jump out. तो तस्सर डाला. And you realize that two copies were there. And you समझा flash flood डाला आस्ता. And Malta मधे flash flood होतो कभी कभी. तो चाहे दो नहीं गिला आस्ता. असत ये that film was Thugs of Hindustan. तो आमी काय के लाता मैं यहाँ पर होटल बैकअप तो दोनों साथ एक कॉपी दिख रही है तो वर्कफ्लो मैनेजमेंट इन केस यू आर इंडिपेंडेंट फिल्मेकर यू वुड हैव टू आल्सो मैनेज द आउटपुट्स बिकॉज़ शर्टली इफ योर फिल्म डज बेल एट फेस्टिवल मधे कौन सी मंडल की आई एम बाइंग योर फिल्म फॉर 80,000 यूरो the best thing to do is to ask. Yeah, uh, asking questions is very important. If you don't know, you don't know. That's yeah, important. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah. As far as working with me is concerned, what I have done for the last 10 years that I have hired people, I hire people from film school only. Oh, okay. that is... Okay, I know that's a little uh, discriminatory. But yes, then I teach at all the film schools. I teach at SR, FTI, FTI and Whistling Woods. It would be really unfair if I don't hire them. If I hire somebody I who's, uh, if I get somebody like there are two boys who work with me who are not from necessarily these three uh, major film schools, but still, if that is that is a rare thing. 
and how actually my other if i'm not wrong fti doesn't have any course specifically for data management they will have editing directing producing blah 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 blah, blah. so for different departments so first of all uh, like do you teach them what will be the workflow so at S at fti pune uh, specifically for the last i think 7 or 8 years hmm. for the final year students of editing and the final year students of cinematography i do a workshop Oh, okay, so right. for editing, I do a one-week workshop. For cinematographers, I do a one-day or two-day workshop. On the uh, with with editors, I do a very in-depth workshop, which discusses workflow, time code, uh, different uh, editing systems, how they work, demos of editing systems, mm. different camera. I do a very rigorous one-week workshop for them. But that is after they have done three years of film school training, so they are, they are fully aware of different formats. They have done lots of experimentation themselves. That they me do. Sir, uh, one of the things that uh, challenges that we have in mm. data uh, management is what to do with all the data yeah. after it's all over. And this is something that I have started doing now, helping because now it's been 10 years, people have been hanging on to hard drives for a couple of years, mm. um, maybe much more than a couple of years. Yeah. Some people kept the same hard drives and just kept them locked away, but they are filling up fast. Mm. So in some cases, people just erase everything and reuse the hard drives because the film got released. Mm. Uh, but now they realize that oh you know what we should have kept those shots uh, now we have to go back to the airport just to shoot a plane take off mm. when we spent a whole day in Heathrow shooting planes taking off so why we should have kept the rushes so I am I think that's one area that people have to look at one is what to do with all this e-waste okay mm. so uh, a more accelerated way of maintaining hard drives and reusing them not from the point of view of saving money, but also to prevent e-waste. Mm. Because if you just keep that drive, it will one day die and then you will throw it away. Yeah. Okay. Then you are, you are adding to the problem. Instead of that, in its service life, a hard drive can be used any number of times. Yeah. When I say any number of times, any number of times that a person can physically use it. Mm. Even if somebody in the case of, in the course of five years, shoots five different films on a hard drive, it's yeah. possible. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So your net uh, your net uh, expense on drives is zero by the second, third, fourth, fifth, and you've left less e-waste in the environment. Mm, yeah. Plus, to do that, you need to be able to do that at a time when the you need the hard drive before your next film. So somebody needs to go through that drive, take out shots which might be useful, back up the rest to tape, LTO tape or whatever, and give you a full solution. That's what mm. I think I am now doing i've done that for about a dozen films and that's something that everybody has to think about even short filmmakers documentary filmmakers youtubers they're all realizing today that their data and their content mm. is just lying around and they have to find some way to keep it yeah. safe now usually here's a stepping stone of them this data stepping. management yes. edits yeah. and everybody i mean that's a system that everybody understands so they know this is not permanent, it's not a career. It, it can be a career. It can be a career and I would love it they would make their career, but it's not happened. I mean, they, they are basically trained editors. So they know that that is their mission in life. Oh. Hmm. That's Carlos Malakondi, a filmmaker. I have a question for you. 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 How do I transfer the project? Mm. I, I always say the easiest thing in the world is to tell this other editor to learn Premiere Pro. Yeah. And this is a great opportunity. Give him some time. Let him be slow at the beginning and learn. Um, if I had to go back to editing, uh, I would edit on whatever is convenient. Mm. Okay? First of all, if I was editing now, me client la editing system kadis devu dena nai. Okay. Mm. I bought a house of my own liking, I bought a car of my own liking, I have a phone of my own liking yeah. and all these things cost more than the editing system. Yeah. Okay. Why should I let the producer decide what I should edit on? I come with the machine. You want the editor, you got an editor. You want to edit, you got an edit. Okay. You have a machine, it's fine. You don't have to worry about it. Why don't you have a machine? You have to worry about it. 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 Mm. I think an editor should learn all the software, use the strengths of each software, and make a film. End of the yeah, day, not operate the machine. Huh. 
yeah yeah that is more important well also what to keep editors have to start thinking like businessmen out of force out yeah of course of course it is business like somebody is earning money out of it can the ba tumhala hire kon karto producer karto ईपी करतो नॉट इवन द प्रोड्यूसर प्रोड्यूसर त्याचे पैसे नसतात नसते तो दुसऱ्याच्या पैशाने खेळतो ईपी ही हायर्स यू तुम्ही काम कोणाचं करता डायरेक्टरचं करता डायरेक्टर आणि पैशांचा संबंधच नसतो डायरेक्टरला ऑलरेडी वाटत असतं की माझे पैसे खूप कमी केल्या केल्या लोकांनी तर हीज ऑन युअर साईड बट ही हॅज टू नीस मेकिंग लॉट ऑफ मनी अँड हीज ऑन युअर साईड वेर हॅज यू आर गेट टू स्टार्ट मेकिंग मनी तर ते एक कॉन्फ्लिक्ट मला वाटतो आणि एडिटर जो ना जो लोक विचारतात आय मी आय डू अ क्लास ऑन दिस फॉर एफ टी आय प्लीज आय वॉन्ट हाऊ वॉन्ट टू डू बिझनेस इफ समबडी आस्क यू हाऊ मच डू यू चार्ज फॉर अ फ्युचर फिल्म दॅट क्वेश्चन कॅन नेवर बी आन्सर्ड बट विदाउट आस्किंग अ फ्यू मोर क्वेश्चन हाऊ मनी डेज इज द शूट दॅट वील गिव्ह युअर सेन्स ऑफ हाऊ मच रशीज आर गोइंग टू कम Mm. A 40 day shoot will produce so many hours of rushes. A 140 day shoot will produce almost three times as much rushes. So that means you, your prep time is much more than that. These are questions that you ask. There are two things that happen. You get answer that help you guide your pricing, and do some of it. For the other person, it looks like you really know your job. Mm. Okay, the EP may have met many editors in his career, but he's never met somebody who asks questions. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I know. Sir, kiti divas shoot hote? Kasha aur shoot ke liye? Sound sync ahe ka? Jam sync ahe ka? Uh, Tumhaa hi release kadi karayi se? Okay. All these questions. Then it's okay to say, let me just put this together and come back to you tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. I know exactly. It's always okay to take a pause. and not answer the worst answer you can give somebody to how much do you charge is a is a number is a number yeah because that there is no qualification only in that yeah that a student of mine who now an editor who uh, 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 met me one day and he uh, said that sir I, this is amazon series i want to do and uh, but uh, they don't have much of a budget for editor so what do you think i should how should how do you think i should play this thing the you know tell me what is the what are the numbers mm. or like me i take 12 lakhs for a film and uh, but they are saying they have 8 lakhs mm. how would you play this so i should i would hear that i would first of all never give my number only yeah. i would say how much do you have and tell me truthfully yes. and then let's say they say 8 lakhs i would say why are you paying me so much i take only 4 lakhs <laughs> so then the guy would say oh now what happens is that this is not a number he was thinking about but everything is mine the place is mine the machine is mine the assistant is mine food conveyance everything i pay for i take 4 lakh rupees per month i finish a whole film in one month ah but our director wants to sit okay then you tell me how much time the director has oh nice that's the time your film is going to cost you so you fitted the requirement of the story to that and then worked a the budget from there they are the fifth pillar of of uh, film making but they are going to have to step up the game and think like business yeah what i do i charge for my services on a per day basis i don't ask the to producer for anything everything is mine i can even produce pro- provide hard disks but you want to take one version then you provide hard disk but other i can include hard disk i'll do lto backers but i won't charge you for the tapes you want to give me the tapes give me the tapes but tapes are mine which you get to keep free of charge so i take the friction out because he, otherwise he's going to start looking for a hard drive he's going to start looking for a t- i don't take it out from that now mm. that's not a problem so editors need to figure these things out and they will make there's a lot of money to be made people are willing to give you money it's not that they don't have a budget they can't see your value what they are basically that is that is like our trailer trailer sentence yeah. i'm what not in when, when producers say they don't have the budget what they are actually saying is that you are not worth the amount of money i have left over damn when the direction is a profession cinematography is a profession acting is a profession uh, script writing is a profession editing is a service oh that is the situation too hmm. and we have to stop doing service we have to start doing business true very true
but not many people actually tell you the truth they will tell you the truth because you will know information not everybody does so ekter uh, you told us how to negotiate so do you have any other moon nuggets for business part of any profession like any department not only editing for editors i would i am going to stick to editors because they are the currently in the most need to become businessmen everybody else is knows how to make money editors have to be entrepreneurs they have to own assets okay and once you uh, uh, attach a cost of living to your profession and invest in that much uh, whatever articles required you will automatically find a way to make that money it's like we all want a house to live in so we buy a house and we take a loan and we take emis on that loan or we buy a car and take emis right we find ways to get that money only after we make that loan if you sit to calculate you will never buy anything people you work for are very wealthy people and they understand value so they understand value it's a question of showing them the value and they will find the money for it yeah, yeah yeah do not be afraid of seeing the back of a client a lot of editors negotiate from the from the position of fear Hmm. And fear is visible. There are two people who can sense fear very well: executive producers and printers. <laughs> okay. okay. When you are really scared, you want to print something, and you want to in a hurry. The printer never works. Yeah, okay. that is so true. Okay. Very true. Be calm and say, "I can do this tomorrow." The printer will work immediately. Okay. <laughs> Apply that kind of weird logic to work. Deal. Don't be of all the the. deals i uh, negotiate and talk to i would say out of 10 only 3 deals come to me and 7 just go away because they can't afford you, you also have do. to have faith in yourself first and then everything not right? only that you have to make enough money from one job to be able to say no to others no that is to understandable but even in that case like first of all you have to be confident in yourself that confidence first, comes if you make money and then that i agree that i agree completely if you are making enough money you are not scared of of yeah, the losing job losing some other yeah. money the data management ka tara maza anubhav asa hai ki actually ata mi jasa asa adi sangle majya baro je actually data management kartat assistant they sagle trained editors ahe so they are aware of how to do a you know line up ani kai kai thikan they ne kele kele hi hai kai kai but because editing madhe digital madhe kay jale ki lok khup shoot kartat mun rashes khup yetat chare dusra cha shoot madhe ऐसी तासा रस ही होता मैं ऑलमोस्ट एवरी फिल्म में मैं ऑफर देते लोकान कि फॉर नो एक्स्ट्रा चार्ज आम्मी हे रशीज कन्वर्ट करूँ तना नेमिंग करूँ ते बीन्स बनो तुम्हारा देू शको सिंक कर बट यूल बी सरप्राइज दैट नो बड़ी हेज एवर एक्सेप्टेड दैट वाय नो ऑलमोस्ट एवरी एडिटर आई सेट नहीं वी हैव आर ओन वी हैव डूइंग इट यू डोंट डू इट आई थिंक इट्स टू सम एक्सटेंड कि दे फील थ्रेटेंड about what about the fact ki then uh, they will not have a job which is also valid i think no, but but, but anyways, i think it's a which is why when i say that i will edit the whole film in one month it comes to this i would have somebody else doing that see mm-hmm. the thing that i can farm out to five people now you can't farm out editing to five people mm-hmm. but why not all the mechanical things so other uh, completely unrelated issues ai the yeah. people talk about ai ai is going to fix these things and yeah. people people better watch out i mean right now there is so much that is done automatically by our systems yeah uh, it is now possible for me for example to take the camera files convert them into files for editing make file names uh, make clip names for each clip based on what that clip actually is okay without actually watching anything i can do it automatically oh this yes. is because on set there is i'll give you a clue on set there is at least one human being doing that that is the sound recordist every yeah. sound recordist names the files by scene shot take yeah. right you can synchronize that hmm. to the picture rushes make the picture rushes take the name of the sound rushes so they both have the same names and provide that as a burn in and put them into separate bins by scene number and embed that in the metadata of the rushes all this automatically and i can do 2 hours of rushes in 5 minutes every day oh my doing god this. that is so cool today it is possible to sort out and i again i have demonstrated this 
to sort out the entire rushes of a film by face recognition. So if you want to see all the shots of this particular person, they are all together. And you can make bins like that automatically. You can tag locations based on story locations. So and so palace, so and so uh, darbar, so whatever the, the story location is. You can tag things and they automatically go to bins according to that. And then if you want to find the shot of so and so actress in so and so location, it's all right there. You don't have to actually play anything or even read the shot names. Oh, wow. This is automation that is possible even today without AI. We need more HI, that is human intelligence, to make this all work. Yeah. But uh, now the question is, will, will people take it as a help or will they take it as a threat to their existence? Mm. That is up to them. Mm. But whichever way it turns out, it's going to happen. स्कैनिंगल लगा आता दैट इज ऑटोमैटिक इन द स्कैनर पैंक एक मानूस होता जो लोक ईडीएल घायन मैं मैन्युअली एक आठ आठ फ्रेम उगड़ा अख्या फीचर फ्रेम चाहिए चार्ज लाएस है कि तुम्हें पैसे कमाला करता इज वन थिंग पलट तुम्हें यू शूड फाइंड अ वे ऑफ ऑटोमेटिंग विथ दिस एंड स्टील चार्जिंग फॉर एक्जैक्टली यू डोट एड युअर वर्क एंड देन चार्ज फॉर इट दैट इज नॉट स्मार्ट या and editors have to do that they'll have to work smartly because the amount of shooting is far more than it used to be you know in the film days a film like black shot dawn or uh, uh, film film for a two and a half hour film they used to be literally 40 hours of rushes or that is a maximum action film typically for a two and a half hour film there were 20 hours of rushes okay the same two and a half hour film today has less, never less than 100 hours of rushes oh, easy, your job easy. has got four times as complex you have to find a way to make it either charge four times as much or charge two times as much but do the work automatically no so what is what can be the solution for this maybe just learn it or because mana eventually it's our job, like it's our day job ai will all ai systems will require humans to operate them hmm so it's kind of like the transition we did from manual editing to computerized editing hmm we still need an editor editor never went away computerized editing came in 1989 it's now 30 plus years that computerized editing is happening but the humans haven't gone away hmm okay we have to learn how to operate that machines and then we are still in business but we have to do it much more efficiently hmm uh, uh cutting a feature film on steam deck used to take a certain amount of time because it takes that much time for steam deck to work even rewinding a 10 minute reel takes 3 minutes yeah so if your film consists of 30 10 minute reels you're looking at a couple of hours only rewinding okay tape had the same time for rewinding digital doesn't have that time so the all of the mechanics of making a joint involved taking the film put cutting it and putting a tape okay and that was how you made a cut yeah, yeah, yeah. uh cutting today doesn't take that much time but still we take longer to edit a film yeah. still we take 6 months to edit a film when film didn't take 6 months to edit a film because the footage has because there are also. endless possibilities oh not uh, because of anything else and because there are endless possibilities we are going on using it decisiveness is gone away which is good i have no problem with that because films look better more decisively edited now than they used to be in the yeah, film yeah, days yeah, 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 yeah. but then let's celebrate by making that much money also no yeah I agree with that last sentence though. No. Thank you for listening to the Backstage Artists. Our next guest is one of the senior colorists of Famous Studios who has been part of the evolution of filmmaking from analog to digital and he has so many stories to tell. For one two years I was only loading uh, negatives for the colorists. Mm-hmm. Then slowly I started scanning and that was the time where uh, analog to digital transformation was happening. Please like, share and subscribe our YouTube channel Pixels Unlimited. to be part of this exciting journey and for no leave us a comment or even compliment on facebook linkedin instagram etc links are in description below